Hello. Hello, Les. Yes, speaking. Les, mate, it's Kev, mate. Yep, where are you? Kev, you I just turned off at the roundabout to come up the range. Okay, all right. Well, that'll take you another 20 minutes to get here. Yeah, cool. All right, I'll see you shortly. Okay, then. Okay, see, ya. see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hi guys, Kevin Newton for Australian Survival Instructors. I'm here with an Australian icon and legend, Major Les Hiddens. How are you, mate? I'm good, thank you. Well, thank you very much for having me here. I really no, appreciate welcome. it. You're welcome. And uh, Les has got uh, some interesting stuff happening on his website now, so take a look. Well, this is the uh, original report that I put in after I had my uh, Defence Fellowship in 1980. And I catalogued all these species around Northern Australia. And I did it via uh, a vehicle and driving with a Land Rover or by helicopter. I did all this and it was all published in the in the first year and I can tell you I really worked hard that year. Yeah. And you click on that and then you, um, when you're into it and you've subscribed to it, mm -hmm. uh, it gives you all the, uh, the information relevant to that species. It tells you how to find it, how to identify it, what sort of um, environment it works and lives in mm -hmm. um, and, and um, you know, or, or it's in some cases, a nutritional value as well. Yeah, when yeah. you get in there, you can, uh, you've can you got a drop-down menu and it says, where are you? Are you in a wetland or an arid zone or coastal or tropical rainforest or whatever? There's about six different categories. Okay. Yeah, Pandanus Park is something I set up for uh, war veterans as a bit of a retreat in the bush. And the idea being that you go there, you don't have to book in, you don't have to pay, you don't have to talk to rangers and say, can I do this and can I do that? Just and that'll be resin too from Spinifex, mm -hmm. as per this resin here as well. Australia, But he could see the value of what was happening. And I think since then the Australian Army has actually gotten pretty well um, tangled up in the Middle East. And uh, I don't think they're focusing on Australia just yet, but I think they will in the near future. Hi guys, it's Liz Eddins here. I'm talking to Kevin from Australian Survival Instructors. He's trying to introduce me, but fucking up all the time. <laughs> we'll save that one for the outtakes. <laughs>